Welcome to Tales from Surgeon's Hall. Today I want to talk to you about cutaneous horns, or horns that humans grow. And to give you an example of what I mean by this, I'd like to look at this horn that grew on the scalp of an elderly man. It's thick and striated, and contrary to what you might expect, it was actually attached to his scalp by the narrower end. It's made of keratin, and keratin is the predominant component of animal horn. But this has a different structure to animal horn, and unlike those, it grew from a benign skin cancer. Uh, these are lesions that are overproducing keratin in the skin, which leads to the development of this horn. As I say, in over 60% of cases, these are benign cancers, and we don't really know what causes them. Like most skin cancers, we uh, assume that it's got something to do with UV light. And certainly these tend to develop on the face or the scalp, the hands or the arms, places which are usually more exposed to sunlight. And they tend to happen in older people. Now, through history, people wouldn't always be kind to people who develop horns like this. They tended to be associated with demons or devils. And we certainly know of one woman called Mary Davis in the 17th century who was put on display in London as a natural wonder, effectively a freak show. Other examples we have in our collection come from another elderly woman who developed two horns on her scalp. These were long and thin and curly. In total, these came to 23 centimetres in length. Uh, this also needs a little bit of conservation work. As you can see, one of the horns has actually become detached from its back plate, so I need to reattach that. Uh, this horn came from an elderly gentleman. He was 70 years old, and this was actually growing out of the back of his head. It was 11 centimetres long. Now, you can just cut these horns off in the same way you might cut your fingernails, but unless you treat the underlying lesion, so by surgery or radial chemotherapy, then they will just grow back. 